Well, that's what you can see railing across uh, Wales. How would you fancy racing 800 kilometres across the eastern Cape of Africa, though? Well, adventurer Maria Lagerstam has just returned from her latest quest doing just that. She was also the first person to cycle from the edge of the Antarctic to the South Pole, and she's here in the studio with me now. Well, I think you've only been back six days, I'm right in saying. Um, not recovered, I'm sure, yet. Why did you do it? Oh, good question. Um, it was the Adventure Racing World Championship, so teams from all over the world um, gathered in the Eastern Cape. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I love to push my body and my mind, and it was a perfect opportunity to do that. So. And we know about your cycling challenge, the polar challenge that you, that you did. That was um, probably about 10 years ago now, was it? Yeah, 10 year anniversary this year. How different was this from that? Well, uh, this was um, running, cycling and kayaking, so it was multi-sport, whereas at the South Pole I was just cycling. Um, also, this was a team event, which brings its own new challenges as well. Um, and it was also non-stop racing, so for seven days, but we basically didn't sleep very much at all. We were looking at some of the different modes of um, transport there and um, some of the tired faces as well. What are the highs and the lows of the trip? Oh, I think, you know, having the opportunity to do that um, was incredible. You know, seeing all these parts of Africa, seeing how people live out there, um, you know, just and being in a team as well is, is an incredible thing to do. So but I have to say, I really appreciate coming home to Wales to drink Welsh water. Um, a lot of us came back with sort of stomach bugs and things like that. So it makes you realise how important you know, pure Welsh water. So lots of challenges involved um, <laughs> along the way. What keeps Absolutely. you going? What drives you to keep signing up for these types of adventures? Because lots of people might be sitting at home watching this, <laughs> including me sitting here thinking, goodness, how do you inspire yourself? How do you motivate yourself to do this? Well, I just love to try and work out what I'm capable of doing, you know, both my body and my mind. Um, but, you know, I do want to say you don't have to go to the ends of the world to find that. Everybody's adventure um, and levels of sort of risk and things like that are different. And, you know, you can find it right here in Wales as well. Um, and, that, and that's part of what you want to do, inspire people right here to have their bit of adventure. Yeah, absolutely. I've been organising adventure races for families with um, children any age. Um, to come and take part in an adventure race. And that's right here on your doorstep, um, down at Morgan Park or in, in, uh, in the Vale of Glamorgan. So there's lots of opportunities to do that. And I'm very keen to go into some schools as well and speak about making sport a way of life um, for everybody. Well, I think you're the uh, lady to do it and you're going to be inspiring the next generation of explorers, perhaps your own children as well, to go out there and adventure. Um, thank you very much for coming in and talking to us about it. It's really thank fascinating. You. Thank you.